mighty Robeast, beast show me how you'll destroy the lions of Voltron. Again. Watch out behind. Too slow. You've got a lot of hard practicing to do. How do you expect to destroy those five Voltron lions when you can't even handle a couple of little metal pussycats? Motor, my beloved son, you're a nitwit. You idle away your time building metal beasts to defeat Voltron and capture planet Eris. It takes people, real people with brains. Our defeats are causing us to lose the respect of other planets in the Drool Empire. And remember, my son, when you lose respect, you lose power and even your head. Your thinking is old and creaky, Father. Voltron is composed of five lions, so we must have a beast who is a lion tamer. And I have created that very thing in this Robeast. them, Robeast. Yes, yes, much better. And another. expecting from you. You're finally ready to go to work. Voltron Force, bring on your lions. Okay, tight rollout formation. Gotcha. Check. Ready. Roll. Boost it. Princess, you're not holding Blue Lion in formation. Sorry, Keith, I just can't seem to get it. Nothing to it. You watching your instrument panel? Yes. Then correct your azimuth setting 20 degrees north. Now raise your dynatherms to point 50. Kick your alpha max switch over and blast off. See? Nothing to it. I think we got that one ironed out. Now let's try our firepower on that mountain over there. Make that mountain a molehill. Here goes. Nothing left. You said make it a molehill. Okay, team, that's the workout for today. Nice going, princess. I think you're gonna make it. Thank you. Let's make it to lunch. All you ever think about is food. On a nice day like this, I'm going to find a place to go swimming. All right. <laughs> Let's show him a little professional Yay! form, Hunk. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> ah, beautiful form. Show us some real style, Keith. Hate to embarrass you. Wow. Hey, 
Get a look at the princess. Huh? Ah! Ah! Oh. Princess? Hey! Hey, hey! If you want to see perfect form, just watch very closely. I'm watching. I'm watching real close. That's awfully high, Princess. Look out below! <gasps> Princess? <sighs> Allura! She's been down an awful long time. Hey, something's coming up right over there! It's not her. Huh? Just this. Well, it's part of her. Hi, team. Did you watch? How's that the perfect form? I vote you the most perfect form in the whole galaxy, Princess. Oh. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Oh, where is the princess? Off flying at those wild lions again? Koran, once again the princess is not here for her studies. A princess must learn many things, Nanny. Not only from books. She may be out among her people. Or she may be out risking her life again in that lion. Is that what you call learning? Well, no, not precisely. But you see, Nanny... I worry myself to death over that child. I see that she eats the right food, uh, wears the right no, clothes, no, behaves like a princess. You're doing just fine, Nanny. Don't worry about the princess. I'm sure she's out doing charitable work somewhere. Oh, that really won't do at all. Oh, what are you talking about, Koran? Don't you approve of charitable work? <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh. oh, shocking for a royal person. She simply has to learn her position requires great dignity. Mm, feels good. Ah, oh, it's sure great to relax. Ah. Oh. Relaxing makes me hungry. What doesn't? So peaceful. I think Lotor's given up, don't you, Keith? Nice thought, but I wouldn't count on it a whole lot. Hey, team, looks like there might be a big storm coming up. Princess! Yep, sounds like a real bad storm. Hurricane Nanny! Better take cover till it blows over. Come on, hit the water! Princess, this is really beneath your station. Oh, it's disgraceful. A royal princess out in the open. In, in the, out in the open. Oh. Come along now, princess. Oh. It's time for your studies. Peer into the darkness of my crystal, whose evil eye sees everything everywhere. Tell us, oh magic globe, is the time right to attack planet Eris again? Ah! The Voltron team amuses itself in play. They think we have given up. And their guard is lowered. Now is the moment to descend upon them. And even if they should be able to get to their lions, those robots will be no match against my mighty lion-taming Robeast. Units converge on planet Aris. This time, that miserable planet will fall into our hands. I'd like you to read my notes on intergalactic diplomacy again very carefully. I don't believe you're quite grasping the theory. Oh. Nanny locked the door so I can't get out. They say I've got to study harder. I'm way behind on my alien languages. I can already communicate with 50 different planets, but Koran says there are hundreds more, and a princess has to be able to speak to them. But why can't I be just as much of a princess by flying my blue lion with the Voltron Force and defending my people? <sighs> it's a weird...
weird light. <gasps> what is it? Huh? A solar flare? Looks like an exploding meteorite. Awful close. Better <gasps> check with Koran. What are you picking up on that crazy light? Two alien objects giving off strong signals are approaching this planet fast. And look what happens when I enlarge them. That's Lotor's command ship. Yes, he's camouflaged his flight as a shooting star, and heaven knows what's in that giant coffin he's towing. We'd better send up the lions immediately. We'll go. Wait, you're forgetting something. What about the princess? Without her blue lion, we can't form Voltron. This mission is too dangerous. We can't risk the life of our princess. He's right, Pidge. We gotta blast off without her. Okay, I guess four lions can do it. Let's go now. Roger! Remember, sire, the spirit of all that is dark and evil goes with you. <laughs> Okay, let's make a pass at him and give him a warning. Got it! Read ya! Buzz him! They're giving a warning. I've got the answer for four impertinent lions. Launch the Roe Beast! Voltron will be back after these messages. Now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Guided in near the castle. Perfect. Activate the Robeast. It landed a Robeast behind the castle and it's growing. Let's get over there quick. Look at the size of that thing. Wow, that is an ugly one. I knew something was missing. All the lions are up here except the blue one. That must mean Princess Allura is in hiding. And it also means they can't form Voltron. Now I have a free hand. Let's fly by and check it out. I think this calls for a frontal attack. Formation, all together. Right! Photon missiles! Leash them, Robies! <laughs> Good! Now hold them, Robies! It all worked out just as the old witch foretold. The Voltron force was caught napping. The lions are defeated, and Allura is mine. But where is she? Let me out! The team needs me. I've got to help defend the planet. What good is being a ruler if there's nothing left to rule? I must get to the blue lion and join the others. Where would she hide? In the dungeon? In the tower? In her bedroom! There you are, my princess. I've waited a long time for this moment. No! It can't be! <gasps> 
Now you will return with me to Planet Doom. The electro scan indicates trouble in Princess's room. Lotor may have managed to infiltrate the castle. Oh, what a foolish, foolish thing I did to lock the poor child in her room. Uh, uh, uh. Allura, don't go away. I bring you affection. You're a monster, just as bad as your father. That old fool? Dear girl, I'm twice the monster my father ever hoped to be. <laughs> such royal grace, such perfection. You delight the eye, Allura. Now! I hoped you'd listen to gentle persuasion, but if not... Oh. Oh. Princess, are you all right? You were just in time, Koran, and now I've got to go out and help the Volter on force. No, it's much too late. You'll be fighting alone. Princess, <gasps> princess! Come, fight for your princess. We'll see who wants her the most. Oh. <laughs> Open fire! Allura has escaped, but only for the moment. Stop, baby! Don't go out there! It's not safe! And that's the very thing we've got to eliminate, Nanny! Hang on, team. Get there as fast as I can. Princess, where are you? Allura! I'm coming, Keith! I'm coming! Blue Lion, moving into unit position. Let us loose! All right, I see the problem. Let's cut it. Ion Knight. Great, Princess. We're free. That was perfect form. Thank, Thank you, Dad, Princess. Does that mean I'm really on the team? You better believe it does. Now let's see if our practice paid off. Right! right. Ready to form Voltron. Activate interlock. Dynatherms connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go. Let's, let's go, go Voltron Force! And I'll form the head! Ignite lion torches! Ignite lower lion torches! Look out, team! Heads up! missiles form blazing sword
Right, Pidge. Now back to the Castle of Lions. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. What news of my idiotic son? I see in my magic crystal that Prince Lotor took planet Eris by complete surprise. He launched the Robeast. Come, come, tell me. Is the battle over? Did the robot win? Yes, sire. And that robot flies high over planet Eris in victory. Unfortunately, that robot is not our Robeast. The winner is Voltron again. Lotor will never give up, and I will never bow to him or allow my world to fall into the hands of the evil ruler of Planet Doom. The Voltron Force will keep us safe and secure, and I know now that I can be both the ruler my people wish and a defender of their freedom as well. <laughs> 